So what do you think of this whole Bitcoin thing and how does it relate to the real estate business? I'm over 40 years buying, holding and selling real estate. So during that time, I've seen lots of shiny new things come along, certainly things that looked good at the time. Uh, and there's always been stocks come along and you say, Hey, if you invest in this stock now, this is a new technology. This is a new trend. You can make lots of money. And that's true. That's absolutely true. And one of the things that I've always thought about though, is there's trends, there's ups and downs, there's roller coasters, there's things that occur within our economy. Uh, you can believe what you want to, but they're man manufactured. Our economy is manipulated. And if you don't believe that you need to do some further research. Well, I believe that's true with Bitcoin and any other opportunities that might come down the pike as well. Now, one thing that I like is real estate. I like income producing real estate. And we talk about stocks. Well, you might get a quarterly dividend. You might get an annual dividend. You might get no dividend at all because some companies keep all the money inside the company. They don't pay out any dividends so that they can reinvest it in other technologies, other companies and so on. So they really don't give any return on the investment. You're betting on the come, you're betting on the possibilities, the appreciation of what might happen with that stock. So for a lot of people, it's, uh, it's speculation. It should be speculation. Uh, to me, it's Las Vegas, you know, roll the dice and take a chance. Um, for some people, uh, they, bet their life savings on it. For other people, it's entertainment. And that's more of what I look at is, you know, if I'm going to, if I'm going to do anything in Vegas uh, regarding gambling, uh, it's hundred percent entertainment to me. I'm not doing it for an income stream. And uh, so you might want to buy some Bitcoin just for entertainment purposes. But what I like is single family homes. Now imagine that I can buy a Bitcoin for $60,000. Well, I can buy a house in certain parts of this country for $60,000 and even less. And what's fascinating about that is there's people for those houses. And I love offering our path to home ownership plan where we help deserving families, regardless of credit or financial background to end up with home ownership. And, one of the great things about that is number one, when my customer moves in, I get a big fat paycheck because I'm usually getting a rent to own or an owner finance down payment coming in from those folks. And then every month that they are living there, I'm getting a dividend. Now some stocks, they give you quarterly or annual dividends and some don't give you any dividends at all. Well, my investments are giving me monthly dividends. And I really like that. And I like the fact that I can line up buyers for my properties in advance, buyers with down payment money in advance. It's a very attractive way that we can help people to advance their world and really support them in that process as well. So as you think through uh, investing on the possibility of what Bitcoin and its sisters and brothers, right? There's a lot of different offshoots that have come from that, you might want to consider what the stability can be with investing in real estate. The stability for me is everybody needs a home. Everybody don't need a Bitcoin baby, but everybody needs a home. Now, of course, the idea of Bitcoin is that you're going to be able to use it for certain uh, purchases and that certain businesses are going to start taking Bitcoin in payment. Well, maybe, maybe not. Um, I know that Elon Musk said that he would take Bitcoin and before he said he wouldn't take Bitcoin but for, for Tesla's. Well, when he said he would take it, all of a sudden the price skyrockets. And when he said he wouldn't take it, boom, the price goes back down. But that could have been on purpose, my friend. That could have been absolutely on purpose so that the, when the crash occurred, it could be repurchased at a lower price. Uh, so it sure sounds so, like manipulation when he gets on and says something and then says the opposite. And that's right. I thought, I, and it just doesn't happen that way with houses. You know, when I have a customer 
and I know how much down payment that customer has, and I know what that customer can afford on a monthly basis. Now I can go buy a property. I can buy it right. I can buy it cheap. I can make a spread on that and I can make an income on that. And to me, that makes a whole lot more sense than something that we would speculate on. Yeah. And I think Bitcoin is the latest thing to, uh, to bring out the greed in people, right? Oh, it's going up, it's going up. And so as you can see here, um, well, I sure I'm glad I didn't buy it at 60,000 Scott, because it's now $39,036. Huh? Yeah, that's right. And this is the last, today. last month and it's just gone down, 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 and then it crashed and came back down up. And it's ex exciting. If you love to gamble, it's not exciting. If you want, a steady income and you don't have to worry about paying and you don't want to have to worry about paying your, your mortgage or your, you know, your, ex, your monthly expenses, because what normally happens with people that don't know anything about what they're getting into is when they get in, it drops and it's kind of a whiplash thing. I think it goes up. Everyone gets excited. The market says, great, we're going to take everybody's money that drops like crazy. The market rebuys the people that were burnt, stay out and then, a new group of people come in and away it goes. And I know a person who bought at 20,000 about a year and a half ago before the last collapse. And uh, that's a bit too far. No. Oh, I seriously looked at it at 5,000. I seriously looked at it at 5,000. So, you know, yes. maybe I'm the idiot, idiot that didn't buy it at 5,000. But, right. uh, you know, I also looked at what I've done with real estate since I looked at it at 5,000 too. So. Yeah, it was, it was over a year ago, but this person bought at 20,000 It dropped to five. He lost 15,000 and that was all the money that he had. And of course, all you hear is sobbing. And then last week, a friend of mine said, what should I do on Bitcoin? Like I'm a Bitcoin expert. I don't know what you should do, but they bought at 60 and it was 35. And I said, well, what can you do except hold on to it and hope it comes back one day? And that's a terrible way to live your life. I think it is. Uh, and like I said, you know, if you want to speculate, if you want to have some entertainment, you can do that just so you have something to look at. But um, I, I am entertained by real estate on a daily basis and <laughs> I don't really have a good reason to do anything else. And I think that what, People are paying $60,000 for electrons in the ether. Whereas when you can spend $60,000 and you've got four walls, a roof, a basement and a, a floor and some land around you, I think that's a far better way to spend your money. And something that people need, not want, need. Yes. People you need have to have a roof. And, and I don't, uh, you know, this, this thing about you put your coin in a wallet, and you, this wallet has a key. And if you ever forget your key or lose your key, you'll never get it back. You can't get it from anywhere. And it's like dropping your wallet to the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> You're never going to see it again. I, I don't like that. I like, you know, a house, it has a deed. I can trade that deed. I can borrow against that deed. Makes a whole lot more sense to me. Yes. Yeah.